Hello fellow LAR Warriors, I am Zardar and welcome to another one of my campaigns. So this time we're gonna be playing as the Dwarves from uh, Steel Faith Grimhammer mode and uh, for anybody who's wondering, uh, Steel Faith Overhaul mode has uh, changed, uh, changed its name uh, for the reason I think they just... Uh, uh, they they want to bother with uh, other projects as well from other Total War games, so uh, they felt like uh, a different name, like uh, more inclusive, should be a better way to go. Uh, so yeah, I, I think th that's what happened. I'm not so sure. I think I saw a post from them on Twitter, from uh, Veneris, the uh, team leader, and that's what he said. Unless I was, uh, I think I read it at night before I went to sleep. You know, I always check Twitter, and uh, yeah. I, I might be uh, not remembering correctly what happened. Anyway, the reason we I want to play the dwarves is because uh, du during the first update they've been updated and they're now their skill tree line is on par with uh, the factions of the new world uh, of Warhammer 2, high elves, dark elves, and stuff like that. Because uh, if you don't remember, their uh, skill tree line either it was Empire or dwarves or anybody else it actually sucked. So now it's uh, it's on par with those factions. And I just wanna test them out. So for the race attributes we get grudges, scores against the dwarves must be settled at any cost, uh, the underway dwarves can use underground tunnels, roster of heavily armored units with deadly uh, war machines. Um, the initial challenge is easy, uh, ancestral grudges, unity of old dwarf clans. Uh, does that mean I'm gonna be struck with uh, grudges if somebody uh, if some other dwarven faction like vanishes or something, perhaps that. Construction cost minus 10% minus for military recruitment buildings, ooh, that's nice. Melee defense plus, two, uh, plus 4 for dwarf sealed units, good. Recruit rank plus 2 for hammers. Public order plus 2 and unique unit the Everguard. Oh yes, we get a starting, uh, uh, a unique starting unit over here. You're gonna see it as, as soon as we get in. Leadership aura size plus 25% and characters old aura leadership effect plus 5 as a crude stat. Upkeep minus 25% for hammer units. Ooh, that's nice. And Everguard Oath minus 100% upkeep for Lord's Army. Yeah, uh, Thorgrim is the only one that can actually recruit this Everguard. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna play this on uh, Legendary. And um, what else? I don't think we need anything else. Oh! Uh, the goals for this campaign, because I am, I always go for custom goals, because I don't like the uh, the victory uh, conditions from uh, Warhammer 2. I actually dislike it a lot. Dislike them. <clears throat> We're gonna be um, aiming to destroy the uh, greenskins on the south, like Grimgore, um, Wurza, Gazak, whoever is uh, down south, and uh, possibly the Skaven. So we just pretty much wanna cleanse the land of all these uh, buggers. And... Uh, Possibly even Crooked Moon, it depends. I don't want this campaign to get dragged too long. Uh, like, uh, I'm aiming for like 25 episodes or something like that. 30 tops. And uh, yeah, let's hope we have some fun. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking if you wanna hear that guy. To the south, yet more vicious Urki and Groby lay ready to strike at your kin. Seek allies amongst your own folk, for there are many grudges to settle here. The world shall be in thrall to the Karaz Ankor once more, and no creature, green skin or otherwise, shall stand in your way. Sue Devil is gonna be so proud of me as soon as he sees that this campaign. And yeah, as I said, uh, our goals shall be to uh, destroy the factions that have wronged us the most. Um, now I know that uh, high elves like dark elves or whatever the, the elves in general have wronged us too, but well, with the elves it was just a war. <laughs> over here, the uh, greenskins have taken over of our pretty much the whole homeland. So uh, yeah, I think that's. Uh, that's a better grads to go after. <clears throat> so, we're gonna upgrade the uh, main uh, post immediately. And over here, we're gonna go... Let's l let's look at the units. I think there's some new units over here. I just don't remember where they are. 
Ah, there's uh, Grad Rangers. What the hell is that? What's the range? 60. They're probably shooting like uh, torpedoes with his uh, handguns. Who knows? Okay, standard stuff. <clears throat> and what about here? That's just giant slayers. Dwarf engineers, which is, uh, I guess, pretty much like a deck dropper unit. Like, uh, we can see some uh, huge hand cannon over there. Over here we get some new buildings. I'm actu I actually don't know if it's uh, different from the vanilla, because as I said, I only played dwarfs in the first uh, game and it was like, uh, how much, three years ago now? So I really don't remember, but in this one it's like two buildings for money, two buildings for public order, two buildings for growth. You can only build one. Uh, we can't get public order straight away because it's level two, so we're gonna go for money and the trinket maker because this one produces cave and corruption and uh, we don't want that. <clears throat> and research, we shall go with... I think the public order is gonna come in handy. Um, it's currently at minus nine, a huge problem. There's the Everguard, as you can see. They can serve only Thorngrim. They're unbreakable area attacks, so they're best to deal with, uh, like, huge swarms of enemy. Armor piercing, sundering armor, minus 30, yep. Yep, pretty much like an excellent, uh, legendary unit. So, um, what's our strategy gonna be? I, I don't know, like, I'm usually... Like, uh, just attack at all costs, like, just, uh, keep going offensive, never stop. I don't know if that's gonna be the case here, but uh, we shall see. Now, you guys are probably wondering that, uh, where my Dark Elves, uh, female, all-female campaign is. Because I said I'm gonna be doing that possibly next, but the reason is I'm gonna be um, skipping town. I'm gonna be far from home for a couple of days, and the reason for that is it's not about the job. It's not about uh, anything uh, of personal, uh, um, not personal. How to say this? Like, um, yeah, it's not that I'm. I I I want to go. It has to do with my uh, education. I need to uh, go and present some paper. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna be missing for one or even possibly two weeks. So um, I want the Dark Elves campaign to uh, to do it at my fullest. I need all of my uh, self to do it because it's gonna be uh, awesome. Like uh, it's gonna be role play, you know, like uh, down uh, the downfall of men and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm gonna do that later. Uh, when I'm gonna be back and I'm gonna probably I'll, uh, I'll probably have recharged my uh, batteries Hopefully All right, let's keep shooting over there Yeah, the they're gone shoot something else There you go hitting both of these units nice. Oh Let's uh, check the Everguard now that we're here. Where is it? There they are. They're pretty much hammers, but with a cape. These guys don't have a cape, as you can see, but these guys do. And as as you know, capes always work. Like, uh, you get a cape, you're automatically, like, 100% uh, better. So, uh, yeah, these guys uh, do have that, so they will be unstoppable. Alright, Thorgrim over here. Oh, um, start shooting the uh, enemy archers, please. Oh, aim for that. Okay, let's get some distance. I don't want to be fighting close to the uh, ranged line. The enemy general is Gnasrak. Uh, I pretty much, I'm pretty sure these guys can uh, take care of this guy. Uh, them. Uh, there you go. Let's send you over here. We don't want Thorgrim to be fighting without any backup. And uh, miners, just stay back. We're gonna send you in wherever we need to. to. Alright, you keep on shooting the archers, as I said, and you also aim for there. Uh, let's get you over here. Let's get you on their, ba on their backs, yep. Thorgrim, oh damn it, he's taking a lot of damage because he's not fighting a 1v1 at the moment, so let's get him back. Damn it, Thorgrim, get the hell away from there. 
and you guys threats and just make the attack all right these guys are almost done with these ones go fight over there okay change target please you guys done okay come over here let's get the miners out the hammers shall do an excellent job at just blitzing through these orc boys over here and Thorgrim is doing well let's let's watch it that starts there you go my short boys bust them with those hammers he oh my god orcs sent flying that's right <coughs> are they wavering not yet but they will be okay aim for these guys as soon as they are uh, done we're gonna draw up on them anybody coming back I don't see anybody coming back keep aiming for that Thorgrim come over here all right these dwarf warriors won't last that long what the hell is that unit oh it's big ones. that's why they're able to uh, withstand uh, these guys for so much time I get it now okay hammers you get on them dwarf warriors just come over here Thorgrim go and help out the hammerers and uh, just reform don't uh, overextend come on Thorgrim can I get that skill again really oh because you weren't fighting yeah I get it okay I need all of you guys to kill that guy like uh, aim aim him down get out of guard mode so you can uh, chase enemies and uh, just shoot over there I don't care make sure you kill that guy though there you go okay and the bottle Okay, grads removed. Thank you. Some money as well. Grads issued. Oh, take the pillars of Krungi. On it, brother. On it. Let's uh, upgrade Thorgrim. Root Martyr, of course. And the grads against the Greenskins shall come in handy. Now, um, uh, I'm gonna be building my army around uh, Thunders and uh, heavy engines. Like four grad thro throwers or four cannons and four uh, Thunders. So we're gonna need all the buffs that we can get for the uh, artillery pieces. We're gonna need the uh, ammunition and the damage for the thunderers, not this one, this one. There you go. And also I'm gonna be aiming for uh, hammers and iron, iron breakers uh, upgrade. So I'm, I'm just gonna skip this one over here. I'm, uh, I'm looking at the long road at the moment on building this army. So uh, I don't want spending points on this one. <clears throat> It would be great if that game had uh, something like um, uh, what's how to say this? Uh, retrain your skills, like pretty much every uh, RPG has. At some point, you should be able to get uh, one free uh, reset on your skill points, uh, possibly having to do with a quest or uh, you know something like a uh, raise or sack like five cities with uh, that specific general or something like that I think it should it would be great okay let's set up close to this uh, rock over here so we can defend yeah these guys here and here you guys here and here get out of that please Fogrim and you champs like this boom 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 oh Start shooting this one. By the way, if you're wondering uh, why I um, place my archers into thick blocks instead of just stretching them out, the reason for that is they strafe a lot faster. If you stretch them like this, uh, that then the whole units need to uh, take some time to strafe like that, and yeah, it it just takes a lot of time. But if you have them into a big block, like this, they just strafe immediately, which is always nice. Alright, let's target uh, this guy down, as he is the general. Um, you get into the middle. 
Everguard shall deal with all this and the hammer shall deal with this. So fall back. Thorgrim, you go over here with these guys and hammerers smash onto them. I wanna see that. Come on boys! That's right. That's right. Oh, use that. There's no uh, general on the field, so yeah, just drop it on whoever you can. Okay, so you start aiming for these guys that are just coming. Uh, let's get you like this, getting ready for these guys also. The same goes for you. Just get over here, hammers. I mean, uh, ever ever got. Just go after these guys. Okay, these guys got get smashed really hard. Uh, reform. Don't overextend. Same goes for you. Stay over here. Right, let's fast forward a little bit. What are we shooting? Freaking goblins? No, go for um, go for the archers. Okay, you two. I need you to go after that. You go after this one. That's right. Oh shit! Damn it! Fast forward. I didn't get the charge off. That's all right, though. Is anybody here? Yes, there is. Okay. Um, just prepare for these guys as well. All right, get the charge off. Just smash onto some goblins. Yeah. Oh my dear lord. Yeah, it's not gonna be that good for them. Okay, we got uh, these uh, big and still over here. Let's get the uh, Thorgrim over there. I'll, uh, you know what? Just keep fighting where you are it's not a big deal okay are you not on guard mode oh damn it okay go for uh, just shoot the uh, guys that are running let's get you on the flanks to attack in the back uh, it's actually quite heavy in here but uh, this uh, ever guard shall be done quickly with those guys and let's get you here are you guys done okay get from this place Alright, you just uh, shoot runaway targets. You just smash onto here, but I think we've won the battle. So, GG. Alright, cool stuff. Decisive victory. I would loot it if there was money to be made, but as you can see, uh, it's just not worth it. I don't mind the uh, public order penalty when you uh, suck or loot, but yeah, if it's not, mm, uh, if there's not money to be made, I don't want it. So we're gonna go down the uh, the blue tree line. The reason for that is we need the replenishment. I think there's no way for the dwarves to get replenishment from their, um, let's check, from their agents. This guy just gives training, which is always great. Where else can we get the Thane? Oh, over here. Okay, cool. Um, this guy gives scouting, which we couldn't care any less. And the Runesmith just uh, offers mobility. So there's no agent to provide replenishment. And we should be getting as much of it as we can. Alright, we're gonna recruit uh, just one Dwarven Warrior here. Another with the great weapons and a miner. Just get one of its. We're gonna be demolishing that because it's just a growth building. We want money immediately. And uh, yeah, let's end the turn. Okay, before it breaks my ball, just uh, on uh, the next turns. My balls, not ball. <laughs> Damn it. Plural, not singular. I'm gonna get all this to fastest and I always forget to turn it uh, to fastest from the uh, general settings every single time yeah whatever oh we get a, a mission we could possibly take it but it's just unnecessary losses at the moment and uh, we need the replenishment to get us on full strength we can't just take another hit uh, blow onto our units 
because um, if you guys haven't seen, if you guys are new and haven't seen my campaigns, uh, I play quite offensively, like really balls deep. Okay, this one I'm just gonna auto resolve because uh, there's no need. <clears throat> we also made some uh, sweet, sweet money. Yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, I play offensively. So uh, we're not gonna give uh, any ground to our opponent, we're just gonna take the fight to them. The capacity system from Steel Faith, um, we shall go just with uh, faction caps. I really like it, the faction caps. I think the base game should have something like that. Let's go for the money here. And the reason is, every time I f I'm fighting like High Elves or Dark Elves or uh, something like that, it's just a huge blob of monsters every single time. Like, uh, there's no infantry most of the time and I really hate that. If there was uh, some kind of a restraint, how many dragons you can get, <clears throat> then it would have been uh, a lot better. Okay, just easy others over here too. Oops. And we'll just occupy this one too. Alright, more level ups. Now I think we can get at least one point on the replenishment. It's not gonna be much, but it's gonna be something. Alright, there's 1% of Skaven Corruption over here. Uh, what Do we have any untainted? What's that? Income from trade. I don't, I'm not trading. Tax rate. Nice. And growth also here. What's that? Untainted, untainted plus one. Public order and recruitment cost reduced. So uh, yeah, let's go with that. Mm. Ooh, if I lose my uh, Everguard, it's gonna, gonna need 5k to get it back. Nice. Uh, what do we need? One of that and two uh, and a couple of miners. Our real killing power lies on the uh, catapult, the quarrelers and actually these two units. So um, we just need as plenty uh, placeholders, let's just say, them, uh, let's just call them. Just to hold the line so we can uh, just uh, do stuff. And also we have these uh, great weapons as well to do some work. Okay, um, should we? No, oh, what's that? I just saw that. We're gonna try to drop on them, unless they come to us, who knows. Okay, what's that? Imperial Peace AI setup. Oh yeah, I remember this stuff. It's just um, uh, Kislev and the Emperor, uh, the Empire cannot fight between each other. It's, it's like um, a script. I guess the rumors are true. It should be a lot easier fighting off chaos if these guys are not just squambling. So, how do we go after them? Do we drop like this? over here or like this <clears throat> we can't reach them and hopefully they will be able to intercept us oh they're not ah they're gonna drop here and just uh, start bothering us oh. okay whatever now I can't recruit though it's fine I will need as much money as I can get for it uh, for a turn uh, for the next turn to build the uh, public order building so it's not gonna be a big deal that I'm not gonna be recruiting this army is more than capable enough to deal with uh, any threat at the moment. We just gotta prepare for a full stack because uh, Grimgore I think is just uh, straight on uh, attacking the dwarves every single time. He's just uh, preparing, getting a full stack and then coming to us. And if I can I'm gonna try actually to fight him um, <coughs> underway, underground, because uh, that's gonna have a great impact with our hammers and Everguard. Just, uh, you know, a narrow line and hammers in the front just going balls deep. Oh, they they tried to escape and we intercepted them. Okay, just let them be, let them die. 
Get the extra meta defense, although I don't like it, but yeah, we don't have the greatest of replenishment, so we can't be uh, going for the other option, which uh, reduces ours by 7%, if I'm correct. Okay. So that's been dealt with. Uh, Beastman Rising setup. The number of Beastmen has grown in recent years deep in the forests of the old world in hidden caves and secluded desert regions. They are waiting for their time to come. Will the tribes leave their homes to plague the and destroy the civilizations of men, dwarves and elves? Choosing yes will enable the Beastmen invasions in the mid and late game. Uh, this will make the game easier if you play Chaos or Beastmen. Um, I I don't really care uh, and it's not actually that if I click yes it's gonna make my game harder it's not it's just gonna make me waste extra episodes fighting their freaking random stacks which is not something that I want so I'm gonna go with no remember it's not about like I'm choosing the easy option here it's about choosing the less time uh, I know that I'm gonna win every single battle against them with just the garrisons because uh, yeah they're just not that great and the dwarven garrisons are that great all right get that replenishment and we shall go after Karak drone over here oh, okay it's ha it has a military building which is fine public order immediately which one this one offers plus four some money we also make beer leadership and this one plus six and untainted uh, yeah we're gonna go for that because we have a uh, skaven corruption we can't get rid of it it's just what it is and we're gonna go for that too for the money of course and the third building shall be uh, this one we want uh, to get some grad throwers down the line so let's go from uh, for income from uh, settlements increased uh, increased income and uh, can we see where Grimgor is? He's down here, but we can't see him. If I take Karak Drone, both Grimgor and the other guys that are in the south, I don't remember the name of this guy, uh, but uh, yeah, it's two factions down in the south. They're gonna be both attacking us. The th what the hell? Oh, they confederated. It's it's not a big deal. We're still gonna get it because we were already in war, and hopefully that's gonna force the. Um, the freaking orcs coming to us and as I, as I said we want them because we need them to fight uh, we need to fight them on the underway so we can uh, use the narrow line at our greatest uh, extent and just uh, smash through all that orc boys that they're gonna be having now Grimgor has a black black orc unit but that's what we, uh, that's why we got the uh, grad thrower for we're gonna aim that uh, sucker down to the last man and also with the corollers and from there on uh, I think it's gonna be a GG for the greenskins okay the I don't like the bounce of para okay okay it was just uh, inflammatory okay not too much money to be made here so just occupy slayer of the iron hide what's that grads removed uh, I didn't eliminate uh, any lord belonging to this one, but I'll take it. Okay, we didn't get any levels. That sucks. Mm, what do we want from here? Uh, we can't get plenty. The money is a little bit tight. Can we get... Yeah. Okay, we'll get two miners. It is what it is. We just need to wait over here. One more turn for these things to... Uh, to be built they're gonna offer some money we're gonna keep the military building over here and now we just uh, we just need to build a full stack either it's miners or anything else we just need a stack in order to fight Grimgor Did I say that Sue Devil is gonna be quite happy when he sees that I'm actually playing with the dwarves? For any of you guys who don't know, we were preparing a cool campaign with uh, with Sue Devil back in the days, like almost one year ago, but uh, we just never got to uh, do it because 
he's in Canada, I'm in Europe. Yeah, the the time difference is just uh, narrowing the uh, possibilities a lot. And uh, a few battles, yeah, we can do it, but the uh, whole campaign, it's just too difficult. But we had the coolest idea ever. We just uh, didn't happen to implement it. Okay, I can't see Grimgore. Yeah, I could come a little bit south. Oh, there he is. He's building his full stack and he's got some magic. It's fine. Alright, um, we want, as I said, even more replenishment. The more the better, the, the more the merrier, actually. And uh, I could build that for the money. But no, I'm, I'm just gonna leave it at the moment. We're just gonna get a full stack. Uh, let's get some more of these champs. Mm. Okay. Let's go with them. How many? 18. So we'll need like a couple more units. How is the public order? Just minus one. Um, how are the grudges? Mm, okay. Do we get another technology that increases public order? Like early on, I don't see... Oh, there it is. What do we need for that? Ooh, a lot of time. Screw it. Okay. Let's keep building up. And remember, Grimgore is gonna come to us. Hopefully, it's only gonna be Grimgore at the same time and not uh, the other guys down here. Um, no. If you want the confederation though... Ooh, they want. How about you give me... S oh shit, that's gonna affect the public order a lot. Like a really whole lot. But then again, we will be able to do some cool stuff. Do we want to confederate? Because we're gonna be on the open fighting from all sides. But if we leave them, they're just gonna get destroyed. Oh well, that's rough, that's rough to choose, but, oh, shit, god damn it, <laughs> it's fine, we're gonna get it this time, I guess, we can wait, like, if they get only one settlement and uh, they hold on to uh, what's the name of the city on the uh, on the west that uh, we get a port yeah Barakvar uh, if they just keep to Barakvar we'll be alright now Grimgore are you gonna be coming after me dude okay you know what let's come like over here just try to bait somebody okay how much money do, do we get money for two of these no. Two of these? No. So we're gonna go with one and two. And that's our full stack. How about the public order? Minus one. We could have used that money to upgrade to this. Research available. Income from tool makers. These ones are the tool makers, right? Yeah. Mm, they also have a stack. It's just freaking goblins. We don't mind. Okay. One rag. Aye. Let's hear what you have to say. We'll hear it before Oath Gold. Okay, now they're gonna give us even more money because they're possibly into even be, uh, deeper shit. Let's try that. Oh, they accept it. Oh boy, the public order penalty is gonna be freaking. No, oh, it's only minus two. Uh, and the local recruitment capacity minus one, which is rough. Varanka Hills has a beaten to shit garrison. Uh, how about Barakvar? Also Barakvar. Oh my god, are you kidding me? You morons. 
Okay, this guy is level 7. Is he a general? Yeah, he's a general. What do you get? Uh, oh! You went straight on balls deep, dude. Oh, what's that up here? Brass Langid. Okay, how the hell did Barak Var get destroyed, you morons? This one I get it. Varenka heals, but you really almost lost Barak Var. Okay, let's get you over there. And you guys, you can move. Oh my dear lord, just get him. And try to get some uh, miners for now. Actually, Dwarf Warriors shall come in handy. Actually, we need to get rid of one army. These guys will possibly get caught. Just screw them. Uh, if I recruit those, then all the money that I took is gonna go to waste. Ah, I think I made, made a huge mistake by confederating. I should have let these guys crumble because I'm currently waiting on Grim. I can just drop over here. Ah, uh, not now. Okay, just... You know what? 18 units shall be fine for now. Let's see what we can do. First of all, we're gonna need... Where is it? The uh, Mount Squig Home to be upgraded. To get a garrison or something like that. And over here, just recruit two Dwarven Warriors. I think that's gonna be alright. Okay, you wait here. And uh, let's end the turn. Oh, they are just besieging, but they get a full stock. Okay, I can drop with uh, Thorgrim and come after Barak Do. Uh, Do. Uh, what's the name of that thing? Get off my face. Barak Do uh, Do us back. Do's back. News of your oh, really? Far. Thanks for the money. That is gonna come in handy indeed. Okay, Grimgor does not seem to wanna go offensive I don't wanna attack Iron Rock we can just jump simp ship over here is anybody gonna intercept us? not uh, if this thing falls it's fine we just need to protect the Silver Road and Varenka Hills and now we could get a trade agreement yes. with Reichland Be at peace. For that is all not in my name. Mm, okay next turn uh, it's actually blockaded at the moment, but still, you get the idea. So, how about the garrison? Is it... Oh my dear lord, why? I could pull this off with a garrison, but right now it's gonna be almost impossible. Okay, let's get the money. Uh, and then the turn. I think I did a huge mistake confederating with this guy. I should have let them just die. Okay, they didn't go after Barak do do um Barak Var, I mean. <sighs> so do we try to go and save Barak Var? If I can make it over there, I will try and save it. And hopefully they will be able to intercept me. But I can't make it over there, so we must make the most that we can. About Grimgo. He's not mobilizing. 
Okay, uh, did they get inside the city? Cool. Okay. What do they have? Oh, a lot of wolves and spiders. So we will need to protect our uh, black lines. It's fine. They're in forced march. So that means tired. Yeah, they're gonna be tired. Alright, the uh, economy building is building up over here. Um, I will try to get another public order here because uh, we just can't stabilize the problem. Mm hmm, that could indeed come in handy. That's gonna be a lot of income. And we can always build like the um, the catapults in uh, Barakvar if we manage to save it. I think it's all full and we'll go and take it. Something like that. Uh, Barak Duas bag, uh, bag. I think I'm just gonna raise it. Because uh, if I grab it then these guys are gonna come in and they're gonna be breaking my balls. And are these guys ruined dwellers? Nope, they're not. So uh, if we raise it, possibly they're not gonna come after us. Um, possibly. Okay then, so we'll uh, just end this episode here now guys. So I really hope you enjoy it. Feel free to leave a like or a comment. Feel free to subscribe if you're not. And hit that notification button. And yeah, see you next time. Bye bye.